Hi guys, welcome back to Just Mad Cars. Today, we are off to the far show. We're actually kind of just sitting in the traffic waiting to get inside into Santa Ford Raceway. Yeah, it's another show video. It's the second show of our summer, even though today is horrible. But the weather's trash. It's kind of cold and it's drizzling and it's raining, so it's not really that great. I'm a bit excited today because I've drank coffee. I'm a bit energetic at the moment, but yeah. A white girl, man. Hey, shut up. Show days are always fun anyway, so yeah. Enjoy the video, guys. Car park at the moment. It, some of you will be like, it's not that cold, Gavin. You don't need to have your two, your hood and your hat on. Rav, it's cold. You understand? Skiing. So it's on the way in. It's like a race car, free. Indeed, it does. So that I would know. That's why I don't get laid. Do you know what, yeah? Some people might say, oh, man, why would you do your car up like this? This looks stupid. <laughs> rubbish, 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 rubbish. But you say, remember, somebody decided to do this to their car. And it's so unique, it stands out in the car park. Like, this is pretty sick. Oi. Tig one R line for a certain someone that likes Tig one R lines. What I meant about the show being so different, yeah, this is basically in a nutshell. So here we have an A3, modified, probably bagged, super clean, but then next to it, we've got a proper, proper 350Z, a proper JDM build. Massive spoiler. Oh, it's actually bagged. Oh, man. And then next to it, we have this Lancia Delta Integrale. See, this is what I mean. This show was, wasn't what I was expecting just yet. Retro, JDM, modern V-dub, all in one, all next to each other. On one show and shine paddock. This is quite a famous car. It's known all over the social media circuit and on the show car circuit. It's fully, it's a properly custom built monster. So it's a twin turbo V8. One, two, there's a V8. The suspension is even crazier. As you can see, I don't know what style that is, but it's a mad thing. If you want to see a full review on it, I think on Car For All, there was a Reader's Ride episode on this car. This GTI is flipping mad. Liberty Walk body kit. I really like how, because of the, because of the way the wheels are, the, wheels, the design of the wheels, you can see the Liberty Formers brake pads, the brake did calipers, sorry. Obviously, man like, I already shouted him out from Ultimate Dubs. But if you ain't watched my USC video, go check it out. Gives you a full lowdown on what's going on in this car. Bit of wagon love for you guys. This is a nice Vauxhall, I'm not gonna lie to you. I really like this. And then the way the bonnet opens as well is really sick. This actually looks kind of cool. A little subtle mod 
it's an insignia and it's got basically six series wheels it does look pretty cool I'm not gonna lie to you it's very subtle i didn't even notice i thought there were just some any stock wheels but it does bring it out a little bit more it gives it a bit more road presence so obviously those of you that know me i used to have a hyundai coupe and i really like that car. i did it for like four years i always wanted to modify it but i never got a chance to because what's that you need of didn't have as much money so it wasn't really well didn't have any money to be fair but look at this one this is sick i wish i wish i modified my one look at the exhaust it comes out of here that's so cool i'd have loved to have mine like this this would have been so sick a few alphas around here you don't really see modified alphas like that let's have a look at this beautiful 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 beast of an engine twin turbo v6 of the alfa romeo julia Can you zoom up, pan out? Boy. i really love these cars if i had like 70 grand i'd love to have one of these obviously they don't cost 70 they're cheaper than that but once you get a whack on some options it will cost a lot of money boy sub lad sub lad look at all these coopers coopers for days so the reason why i like vxr rates these things is because they're working class superheroes working class heroes to be fair so this car has got a 6 litre V8 yeah I think it's think not a 6.2 in later models and 5.7 in really early models they're an alternative to an M5 or C63 or even an E63 and they're so much cheaper and they're just they've got much more character than a lot of these German cars so that's why I like these a lot of people will think oh they need to look for any way to come and chatting rubbish but this is why cars like that were made because they had more characters they excited people in a different way than all these German cars not that there's anything wrong with German cars obviously some of them are very lovely and they're very capable but sometimes you want a car that's a bit more crude you want a car that's not as sophisticated sometimes because its flaws make it lovable and that's why I like the, Mon the VXR8 Monaro is the older one the one that's just a coupe but yeah something you don't see every day is a Mustang very impressed by this because well, obviously because Mustangs are new to the UK you don't see a lot of modified ones just yet well I haven't seen a lot of modified ones so it's really good to see a bunch of modified Mustangs and stuff for example this one is on air ride look at that air intake massive side spots Boston wheels or Boston wheels or however they're pronounced obviously these ones here are left hand drive like that one you can see still on the left so is that one at the back there that's what it looks like anyway boy run what you brung son huh? run what you brung he's doing, yeah, he's yeah. doing a drag in the flipping ml63 yeah you do still boy sub ting sub ting sub ting jeez two subs there's the other subs it's an hour yeah. Oi, oi! <laughs> Go on. Yes. It's alright. It's fast, isn't it? Ow, it's. Hey. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me. Look at the way this guy. Oh, you dickhead! Oh, my days, bruv. It's muddy. Kai! <laughs> come on, come on, come on, use the torque. Yeah, <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on, you can do it. Come on, 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 Obviously we made it out, you know. I kept my jacket and my hat and everything on just in case I had to get out and go get help. But we didn't. But we didn't because the sub pulled us out with his mighty biceps and triceps. And then you see, look. Man, them over there, struggling. Go look at that, that Mondeo. Man. I'll go call other man to rescue them. See that? That's called the Brethren. Nah. nah. He did it on his J's yeah, by himself. Myself. Side. They can't push that out. At all, they need mate. to get like a ledge or look, something. Look over there. Look over there as well. Look, 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 look. 
Bare people are stuck. This is literally the Amazon jungle right this now. Is, like. This is like, this, I'm, ex I'm happy we experienced this though. Look at that, oh, that van is gone. Stuck. They even dragged something over to try and get a grip. Like, it, I don't stuck. think, like, I don't, look, that guy over there, he's stuck. stuck. That focus at the end is stuck. Obviously the sub didn't get stuck, you know. Yeah. Just put it, just, just did it. Just no, did we fully job. patterned it. Well, not we, yeah. I didn't. The, no, the sub Yeah, the sub. Oh, he oh. abandoned that one. He gave up, mate. Everyone left there and was like, yeah. no, mate. Right, so guys, our day has come to an end. We're in Coddington Services, the first service station on the M1 back home. To be totally honest, yeah, it was so cold that, like, we just left. Well, we didn't leave early, like, oh, this is so cold, oh, we're going to leave early. Like, we did our job because it was so cold and it started raining as well. We just called it a day. Obviously, we got, like, a couple hours drive back home anyway, so... You know, I thought it's all right to leave and show a bit earlier when you've seen everything anyway. So yeah, and I think even the um, run what you brung, they weren't even doing too much because it didn't seem like they were doing anything. They started right when as, as we was leaving because of the rain. Oh, and bare people got stuck as you saw. Uh, we didn't get stuck, obviously. Come on, because we have a sub. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Obviously, subscribe so that you can see more content like this. Um, don't forget to get, leave a like or a dislike. Either one doesn't really bother me. And drop a comment if you really like the video. See you later.